From scoring the World Cup winning goal for Germany to cleaning toilets, this is just one of our five footballers who rose from rags to riches and then went all the way back again. And one of them even tried to commit suicide six times. That's crazy, right? What's even crazier is that you can win an official jersey of your favorite club. You just have to subscribe to the channel, watch the video until the end, and comment about the video. But first, we have Adriano, a former Brazilian footballer, a footballer who once lit up the world with his skills on the pitch. Pitch. Adriano's journey started in the dirt pitches of Brazil, where he played barefoot just like any other kid crazy about soccer. He quickly caught the eye of scouts and soon found himself signing with Flamengo's youth squad in 1999. Things were looking up for Adriano as he rose through the ranks and became a regular name in Flamengo's first team. His talent even earned him a move to Italian giants Inter Milan in 2001, but tragedy struck in 2004 when Adriano received the devastating news of his father's in passing. Despite his grief, Adriano poured his heart into the game, using football as an outlet for his pain. However, behind the scenes, Adriano was battling demons of depression and addiction. His party lifestyle off the field began to affect his performance, leading to a downward spiral in his career. Inter Milan tried to help him by sending him back to Brazil to train with Sao Paulo, but his struggles persisted. Eventually, Inter Milan had to let him go, and Adriano returned to Brazil to rediscover his form with Flamengo. His his inspirational performances helped the team clinch their first Brazilian Serie A title in years. But Adriano's roller coaster journey didn't end there. He made moves to clubs in Italy and Brazil, but his career was plagued by injuries and a lack of focus. Despite flashes of brilliance, Adriano never quite reached the heights he once did. Nowadays, he's back in Brazil, facing financial struggles and relying on local gangs for protection. According to media reports, he has blown his fortune. He has gone all the way back to the favelas he was raised in. But this guy was earning 44000 per week, and all of a sudden, he had nothing in his pocket. Celestine Babayaro, a Nigerian footballer who made a name for himself on the pitches of the Premier League. Babayaro's journey began with Chelsea in 1997, where he dazzled fans with his skills as a left-back and midfielder. He later moved on to Newcastle United, continuing to leave his mark on the English top flight. At the peak of his career, Babayaro was earning a whopping 44,000 pounds per week in wages, making him quite the star both on and off the field. However, despite his success, financial troubles loomed on the horizon. In 2011, Baba Yaro found himself in hot water, facing bankruptcy after a failed move to Major League Soccer MLS. He was pursued by creditors who had loaned him substantial sums of money, leading to a court battle that rocked his world. The once glamorous lifestyle Baba Yaro enjoyed took a sharp turn as he grappled with financial difficulties Difficulties. Neighbors noticed a decline in the upkeep of his property, hinting at the challenges he faced behind the scenes. But this guy lost everything because he didn't have the brain of Ashraf Hakimi. Hakimi's wife requested half of his fortune after the divorce, but she was shocked that he had nothing to his name as every single penny was going to his mother's bank account. This guy conquered the world of financial planning, but sadly, Emmanuel Eboe couldn't. A footballer whose journey took some unexpected twists and turns. Eboe Eboe's career kicked off in 2004 when he joined Arsenal, where he made a name for himself over seven remarkable years. Alongside his football journey, he embarked on another significant chapter, marrying Aureli Bertrand and starting a family with three children. Emmanuel Eboe played for Arsenal for seven years and went to Turkey to play for Galatasaray for four years before finally ending his career at Sunderland in 2016. He made millions of dollars during that period, but eventually became homeless. Eboe also revealed that out of the 8 million euros he received playing for Galatasaray in Turkey, he sent his ex-wife Aureli 7 million euros. But his ex-wife never made the payments to his former agent, and since FIFA banned him, Eboe could not train with any team, play for any team, or earn an income. After serving his one-year ban, Eboe faced family issues. His wife initiated a divorce. Unfortunately, Emmanuel Eboe's divorce led to losing his assets to his wife. What was previously Emmanuel Eboe's house now belonged to his wife, meaning he had no home. With nowhere else to turn, Eboe relied on the kindness of friends and family, even sleeping on the floor in his sister's home at one point. Despite having amassed over 20 million pounds in career earnings, the divorce left him with nothing, as a judge awarded all his properties, savings, and assets to his ex-wife. What the hell was that judge smoking? But this footballer tried to kill himself five to six times due to his battle against depression. A former Premier League star 
whose life took some dark turns despite his success on the pitch. Hendry, known for his time with Aston Villa, opened up about his struggles with mental health, revealing that he attempted suicide multiple times. Despite earning a hefty £30,000 a week during his prime, Hendry found himself in a downward spiral of financial troubles. He lost significant amounts of money in property deals, leading to debts exceeding £1 million. The pressure of his financial woes weighed heavily on him, especially when his mum's house was repossessed. Hendry's lavish lifestyle, including spending £1.2 on luxury cars and owning a £1.7 million mansion, added to the strain. He found himself drowning in debt, despite the glitz and glamour of his surroundings. The weight of it all became unbearable for Hendry, leading him to attempt suicide five or six times. One attempt landed him on a life support machine, highlighting the severity of his struggles. But this guy was a hero for his nation, but ended up cleaning toilets. Andreas Brema etched his name in history by scoring the winning goal for Germany in the 1990 FIFA World Cup final securing victory against Argentina with a crucial 85th minute penalty. His accomplishments extend beyond international success, with Bundesliga and Serie A titles under his belt from stints with clubs like Bayern Munich and Inter Milan. Throughout his illustrious career, he amassed over 600 games, leaving an indelible mark on the sport. However, despite his on-field triumphs, Brema's off-field struggles have come to light. Reports indicate that the German World Cup hero is facing bankruptcy, with debts totaling approximately approximately 200,000 euros. Despite calls for aid, Brema has found solace in the kindness of a former teammate. Oliver Straub, who owns a bathroom maintenance company. Brema now works alongside him, cleaning toilets to make ends meet. Even Franz Beckenbauer emphasized the need for support, acknowledging Brema's contributions to German football and calling for assistance. From scoring the winning goal in a World Cup final to cleaning toilets, that's a huge fall from grace for the footballer. And while you're here, be sure to check out our video highlighting 20 times footballers surprise the world, including the mind-blowing fact that Ronaldo can jump higher than every NBA player. Trust us, it's a must watch. So hit that like button, hit subscribe, and dive into more fascinating content. Until next time, keep kicking goals.